All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last episode, we went and headed into our very first sealed area, which that was going to be the red seal for Max. Now, I wasn't really uh, expecting that that seal was going to, uh, well, basically make Max not be able to be used in that certain area. I thought that was going to be meant for the items, but I think that's supposed to be for the white seal, uh, which apparently, I think what is going to happen is that there is going to be a white seal area that we do need to go across and over to, since we already went and got ourselves with the progression item to move over to the top part of our time within the dungeon levels now it seems like i don't think we can actually go and head into the other fork of the road which that is going to be the sun area i don't think we can really go and do that just yet so we kind of have to see what happens from there i may probably go and head back into that area off recording which i think i already kind of said that from before but it's just that i need to make sure that i go and buy myself another one of those uh unbreakable type of seals because that's what happened uh during the last episode is that we used that unbreakable seal and we were able to go and get ourselves a, a complete uh, w there for that one particular area but however uh with all that being said in mind let's go and jump right back into starlight canyon though and head on into our next main area to find some more of the geostones for us to go and be able to collect so that we can hopefully at least build up on everything that is here within balance valley so yes if you guys can probably see we are going to be heading up here into the top part but however there is going to be another one of those fork of the roads here at some point but for right now we got ourselves another little seal area here so if you guys go and see that there is going to be a white seal area but there is is a geostone that is going to fall so let's go and do that so since we can't really go and use any type of status healers or even try to even use uh any of those uh type of uh, healing items that we can go and use uh we can still go and use repair items because that is something uh, important that we do have to go and use but anything healing wise or even status wise is going to be something that's going to be really scary uh within this whole entire place so we have to be really careful so yep so we can't go and use restore health or even cure abnormal statuses anymore so yeah even if we get ourselves like completely poisoned or something like that everything could go completely wrong here but however let's just go and kind of conserve a little bit on our time with the ripod and just make sure that uh we don't really go and use it all that uh too much around here because i know that we're gonna be meeting up with some of these golems and other type of uh random enemies that are gonna happen out here even those elephants for that matter so uh hopefully uh, with that being said in mind uh uh, we'll just kind of use those guys just for those specific type of ways But if we do see like those ram guys or those tribesmen uh, type of enemies that are out here We'll make sure that we go and use Monica for that one specific place for it now It seems like this whole area is gonna be completely randomized now since like uh, because I know that during the last one It wasn't really completely randomized all that too much because everything was all kind of like in the same exact type of area for the time being but here we go. Let's open up this chest. Hopefully it's not going to be a mimic. I'm not really wanting for that to happen. Ooh, look at that. Special repair powder, but we don't even have any room left for it, though, because we already have it already sitting at the max, I think, for right now, right? So let's just go and break some stuff. Let's see. Come on, give me some Rypaw fuel, even though that I can't really go and use Rypaw fuel, but oh, great. Yeah, these guys are really bulky, man, and I don't really like that. Yeah, fortunately, I wish I was able to use uh, a little bit of some more, um, I don't know. Can I use the heart component for those guys for my Rypod? Because, like, I know that I have that now since I went and bought that, didn't I? Or did I not? Uh, I don't think I ever bought out that heart component yet. But there is a shield kit. Use on core. I guess we could go and probably, uh, kind of raise this defense. We could kind of use that. There we go. So hopefully that kind of... Helps out a little bit. We already just want to use that now. Okay, so let's go and let's throw down on one of these things here. Nothing. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes these rocks do have at least like a very rare occasion for an item, but for right now, that's not going to be the case. But, anyways, while we're still kind of looking around out here for some more enemies to go and knock out, I uh, hope you guys do go and uh, check out on the Pokemon, uh, I said, oh, well, uh, Pokemon uh, Rumble uh, Let's Play that we are almost went to be uh, doing. I almost uh, went and said uh, go and check out on the uh, Pokemon Violet Let's Play, but that's already what it finished off with from before. Uh, but here we go. Oh, what? Hey, there we go. Now we got the got the knockout there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before that guy literally starts showing up out of nowhere. Uh, we got a golem battle. Okay, hold on. Right pod time. Let's make sure that he goes and takes care of that quickly. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, that took a lot of ammo right there, but let's see. Stamina drink? Something that I don't really need, but... Oh my god, really? You gotta be kidding me. It's like I already just went and met up with all you guys already, and now I still have to go and see you again. There we go. 
Just do that quickly. Just do that quickly. Just do that quickly. Oh my god, please. Okay, there we go. Uh, taking care of those guys. Come on, give me that progression item there. Yes! Okay, we got the progression item. We got the giant meat. That is exactly what we do need. Let's make sure that we get ourselves healed up though as well too. But for right now, it seems like that is not going to really work in our favor for right now. Okay, magic crystal. Perfect. Let's go and figure out where the heck that this thing is going to be at. Okay, so I do see that there is a pink little orb guy right around here. So I know that for that being said in mind is that we do need to... Uh, okay, let's just go and set up for our special bombs here. I wasn't really expecting for me to go and use this right now. But since we got these tribe guys in the way, I think it's a perfect time to go and use them right now. Oh, wow. What, really? I wasn't really expecting for you to go and do that. All right. Let's go and uh, toss it right at him. Hopefully that can at least do some damage. Nice. Okay. Already went and finished off with that dude right there. And nice. Got some more repair gunpowder. Okay. We'll make sure we use the last bit of our ripe pod juice here. And knock it on this goal once and for all. Come on. Get him done. Ugh. That guy is so bulky, man. Yeah, we need to go and at least buy out on a uh, on a special type of uh, item for our ride pod after once we're done with this whole entire level, because I need to buy a HP type of uh, um, uh, HP type of container uh, quickly so that I can kind of boost up it, it, well, boost it up a little bit more. So there we go. So now we got everything now, and now all we have to do at this point in time is just kind of figure out where we need to go to next so it seems like this is our uh, progression area here so with that being said in mind let's go and finally put this to some good use even though that we didn't really get ourselves a level up yet but maybe within the next time we can all right we'll use the special condor meat and we'll progress to the next area thank goodness <laughs> no more white seal type of place here even though that unfortunately uh the white seal is still going to be on there but let's see what else we got. Smiling Fairy Village. So I believe that is going to be the next type of part that we need to go to anyways. But before we go and do that, we need to go return back to Balance Valley. So that is our main and big concern right there. Because I'm pretty certain if I go and check back and kind of relook on things, I, I believe I would have told you guys that we did have like a little bit over a thousand EXP so that we could actually be able to go and uh, do some stuff for this here. So if I kind of go and look around... Yeah, we already have like around 1500, so we're doing pretty well for EXP, so we could go and buy some stuff from Cedric now. Alright guys, well I am back, and I just already went and uh, purchased out on this item here. We got ourselves now with the improved core, so that we can go and assign that over to uh, our Rypod buddy there. We'll just have to go and use it once we start heading into the actual dungeon itself, but however, we do uh, have that extra little bit of defense-wise on our Rypod, so... That's a plus right there. But however, uh, since we can now go and uh, use our Geostone here, we got ourselves 30 culture points obtained. Ooh, well, that's actually really handy. I don't know if that's going to do anything uh, interesting here for that. Let me see. 30 culture points obtained. But unfortunately, we can't really go and uh, do anything about that, though, because we don't have a yellow marker. Because we still haven't really went and built anything just yet. Uh, well, at least the good thing that's going to be happening right on after uh, from that whole annoying sealed area is that we can now finally go into an area where we don't have to worry about that type of stuff anymore. So, very nice. So, let's go ahead and jump right into Starlight Canyon. And let's go and do some battling. Alright, here we go. I know that I kind of normally kind of like doing two type of missions uh, within one type of episode. Sometimes if some things get a little bit too difficult, I kind of normally kind of like doing it just for like one instead either way. But so far, it's been, uh, it's been a little bit, uh, it's been a little bit uh, good here and there. So it seems like for right now, everything seems a little bit fine. So we'll have to go and jump into this. So here we are, next area. So let's see. So this mission was all about the Smiling Fairy Village. Okay. So let's see. There is this way that we could go and probably check out around here. So let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. We got some of these more Jamon guys. This time we got ourselves a Fire Jamon. Not too shabby. Already went and destroyed him out of the way. So easy set the done here. Oh, no. The Smiling guys. Right. Yeah, because I know that we kind of need to use Monica here for these guys, because I know that they were uh, a little bit, a little bit crazy. Oh, come on, let me just run away from these guys. Thank you. I hate how the lock-on thing is there, but 
There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure that these guys are done. Wah. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. There, at least I went and taking care of your friend there. Okay. Hey, hey, there we go. Got some extra bread. So this seems like this is just a whole area of all these guys that we already kind of saw for the last time. Jeez. Okay, hold on. We need a bread. <laughs> Good thing that we got that bread, though. Yeah, we're going to use that immediately. All right, hold on. There we go. And he's already done. Wow, these guys like to drop a lot of bread, though. Huh. So if you ever are missing out on bread, these guys are the perfect type of uh, trading or, or, or type of grinding for bread, if you ever do need that. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we go and use up on all of our uh, repair powder out here, just to make sure that that bone repair is back. Now, let's see. I don't think we haven't really went through this little segment yet. And I don't know. Oh, it's right around here, though. Yeah, because that was our beginning entrance way. Hey, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, there's an ice drum on there. Hold on. We'll make sure that these guys get out of the way. Oh, well, I didn't want to go and have to grab that, but at least it's a, a handy-dandy magic crystal, though. Ouch. Okay, well, you know what? At least I got hit once. I'm fine with it. Now it's all about just having to find out where the special geostone is or even if there is one seems like there's not one that's been dropped here interesting uh yeah we're not gonna trust out on those right now so what else is up here oh, more mods okay i know we haven't really got to see these guys yet ouch okay oh there it is there's the other geostone just go knock them out please okay thank you Wow, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's just go switch to Demonica and then we'll uh, get our Riot Pod back up and uh, ready for action here. There we go. Just make sure that he's gone. Nice. Okay, perfect. And there's his buddy. Hey, come here. There we go. He's done. Thank you. And a level up for me. Nice. We should probably trade up a little bit on our, uh, on our uh, weapon here for the time being for our sword. Um, let's go and, oh, you can't really go and use it yet? Hold on. Let me just try out something here for a second. Because I think we need to have the Riot Pod actually activated here for the, for us to actually go and use this. Oh, uh, heart component, assemble your own robot design. Well, that's what I want to go and add it towards to, but I guess I can't do that. Hmm. Very weird. Uh, there's still more things that I still need to kind of get... Uh, still need to know a little bit more about that type of Riot Pods function there. Um, but yeah, let's go back into Monica. I know that there was some, uh, new items that we could kind of go and, uh, add into here. Um, I just want to see. Yeah, I don't want to add any more chill. Uh, but. Protector Crystal, uh, with the power of upgrades durable. Nice. Okay, so I wouldn't mind, uh, getting a little bit of durable here. So we'll make durable for four for this. Nice. Okay, and then we'll just have to just go and set this up and set the size over to the boat right here. Yeah, get our durability a little bit better there. Nice. Okay. So hopefully uh, now when we go and start doing any type of attack, it's not going to start like uh, decreasing as faster than ever because that would just be come up a major problem. So I do see that we do need to head up through this way though. And oh great. No, not monster time. Not happening there. So, what are these guys? I don't know if these guys are the electric ones. So, we'll have to check this out. Yeah, this is a Thunder Jamon, so they're gone. Uh, let's just set up for a quick uh, repair on the arm. Yes, and uh, that's about it. Oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't even realize about that, but when we were in that sealed area, I could have went and used the repair and actually uh, refixed up on the arm. Oh, man, that sucks. Then I didn't have to even worry about that and get myself a game over that quickly. Man. So we got ourselves a green type of ride pod, a wind one, or, or a wind one. Okay. So let's just make sure that we use up that, uh... Uh, where did it? Where is it? Here it is. Refuel up. Perfect. Okay. So there we go. That's all taken care of there. 
get all the gear that I do need. So there's only about three guys up here in this little area. Just have to go and take care of the- Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that was just really crazy there. Holy- Okay. Well, at least we went and knocked him out. Thank goodness. Hey, we got ourselves the special uh, giant meat for that. Okay, there we go. We'll just make sure that all these guys are gone. Okay, there's the Thunder Jermon. We'll make sure that he's out of the way too. Nice. Just took out the whole type of area here. Very nice. Let's open this up. And it's just gonna be some red. Okay. Red paint. Not too bad for me there. Oh, there's the, uh, there it is. I need this. No, no, no. I just want to pick this up. <laughs> Give it to me. Thank you. All right, guys, that's the GS Donut. Let's get the heck on out of here, man. Uh, the, uh, the other type of progression area is just right up ahead here. Yes. Okay. Here we finally made it, guys. Okay. Here we go. Let's put that into our giant meat. Yep. Let's go proceed to the next floor. And there we go. So hopefully, with, with this area, what this one is going to tell. Cursed mask. Oh, great. Okay, well, we'll kind of have to hold that out until next time here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We did pretty well, I do have to say. We went and taking care of two different, uh, well, at least we went and taking care of another sealed area. And uh, also as well, too, we did go and take care of the Smiling Fairy Village. So pretty good. And uh, let's just go and do one last other thing here before I go and call this apart. Because I do, however, want to go and see what our last bit of geostones uh type of stuff that we do need to get ourselves uh upgraded for to see what is happening here with the balance valley this time around so let's just kind of check around here with our special carpenteria buddy and let's go and finally put this in here so we got ourselves now with a church now okay so that's awesome and uh so now we got ourselves with a sacred torch restored now uh, and we also do have a star lamp on the brick house has also been made clear okay so so far so good uh, but yeah, so we can go and kind of check here and see where this whole church is at, but there's a church there. Okay. Now, uh, also too, uh, speaking about, uh, the different, uh, type of things that we do need to build, I did actually get to see a little bit of a guide video to make sure exactly on how we need to kind of go and do, uh, most of the stuff here for this, uh, plateau, uh, plateau type of, uh, area that's gonna go on. Uh, apparently from what I've seen is that I think in one specific part of the plateaus is that you do have to go and add, like, three different houses to one and one other extra house into another, uh, type of area there, but we'll kind of go through that when we start, uh, going into the time where I do want to go and start building stuff, but I'll see you guys in the next one, and of course, peace.